Well, um, it turns out to be kind of interesting. I've seen this same uh, explanation for the relationship between the sequence of squares and the sequence of odd numbers in a book written in the year 1250 by the Italian mathematician Fibonacci. Let's take a look at that. Okay, here's the cover of Fibonacci's Book of Squares, written in the year 1250. Here's the introduction to that book. Here's what Fibonacci says in his own words. I thought about the origin of all square numbers and discovered that they arise out of the increasing sequence of odd numbers, for the unity is a square and from it is made the first square, namely 1. So when uh, Fibonacci talks about the unity, he means the number 1 in our notation. To this unity is added 3, making the second square, namely 4, with root 2. If to this sum is added the third odd number, namely 5, the third square is created, namely 9, with root 3, and thus sums of consecutive odd numbers and a sequence of squares always arise together in order. So that's Fibonacci's explanation for the relationship between the sequence of squares and sequence of odd numbers. I think it's interesting that in his book, everything's written in paragraph form. In our notation, it's quite a bit easier to see what that relationship is than to read this.